Hey everybody, Jeff Rolfin with Everything Boston Whaler here. I got a 13 behind me and I want to explain to you guys what it means when I say that the 13 has a hook in the hull and the ramifications of putting heavy engines on the hull and why that creates too much stern lift and induces porpoising on the 13. So, hope you guys learned something from this. Take care. All right, so people often ask, what do you mean by the 13 Whaler has a hook in the hull? Well, if you look at this side profile, it's clearly obvious what's going on here. You can see how the hull, as it comes down from the bow, transitions up to a concave area and then rolls down at the transom. The reason for that is Fisher and Hunt designed that so that this area creates a lift so it creates high pressure when the hull starts up and running to push the transom up so the boat can plane off with very little horsepower. This is why you really don't need tons of um, power to get this boat on plane and it's also why you don't want to run a really heavy engine on the transom. If you put too much weight on the transom you put tons of downforce on this. What ends up happening is you get too much stern lift and the hull wants to porpoise and you can never overcome that if you have too heavy of an engine, no matter how much trim you throw at trying to get in the bow up. So you can see here, I'm gonna walk up. I'm gonna take a look here. You can see right in here, the bunk loses contact with the hull there in the concave area and then it meets back up at the hull there. So that means that this entire running surface is concave. So it slopes up and then it starts sloping back down to the transom right here. Take a look at, at it from the inside here. So you can see here, we're at contact here. And then if you look close enough, you can see daylight through the bunk right there. So hopefully that gives you guys a little bit better understanding about what I mean when I say the 13 has a hook and why you want to run a light engine on the transom of this boat.